Hmm. Bussin, bussin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited for this video. If you guys remember, watched a part one of this right here. I actually went ahead and ordered a lot of kitchen gadgets, like cool, weird, must-have kitchen gadgets a while back now. It's been a while, literally like probably six months now. And I've been meaning to do this video part two and finally here I am. So like I said, I had ordered a bunch and I did have of those gadgets with you guys on a part one which I will link down below in case you haven't watched or missed that video. A lot of these gadgets, I've been wanting to grab them and actually use them in my kitchen because they look super cool but I have not because I want to do this video with you guys first, um, have like a first impressions with you guys and then actually either keep them or not keep them. I feel like when it comes to these kind of videos, half of the things are actually really cool, like where have they been my whole life? And then the other half are kind of like, who thought about this? Who invented this? So now to get straight into the video. So to start off, I got this right here. It's a little chicken, look how cute, to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. So you're supposed to crack the egg in here and then the egg white, it should come out of the mouth and then you're just left with the egg yolks. I feel like this is a little extra. Personally, every time I wanna separate the egg yolk from the egg white, um, I just use like both sides and then kind of just get rid of it. But I thought it was cute to have, or if you're doing like an activity with your kids or something, um, where they have to separate the egg white from the egg yolk, I thought this would make it easy for them and it just it's just cute okay so I popped the egg in there yeah. and then the egg white should come out of the mouth <laughs> this is honestly a complete fail mm. like it would have been way faster if I just did it how I normally do it now that we're here with the eggs I also got this one I feel like this one's really gonna work this was more like a little $1 gadget off. I don't know why I got it. And this one is more like of an actual kitchen tool. So this one says, Chef Made Egg Yolk Separator. I feel like this one's gonna get the job done. Okay, I opened it up. And for this one, I went ahead and cracked three eggs. And then I have this right here. So you're just supposed to basically suck out the egg yolk with this little chicken right here. I love how they're both chickens. Love, love that for us. So I'm just gonna press it and then stick it. Oh, period. And then you take it out. That's actually really good. I feel like if you just need to do this to one egg, then just do it by hand. But let's say you're baking and you need a lot of eggs. This is actually really, really good. I rarely separate my eggs. Again, if you do, I highly recommend this one. I believe I got it off Amazon, but it is um, the brand Chef Made. And this is a must. I will be keeping this in my kitchen for whenever I need to separate eggs. 1010, it's cute, it's a little chicken. Highly, highly recommend. Before we keep going with today's video, I want to thank Blue Land for sponsoring this portion of the video. One day you're young and the next you're excited for things like this, Blue Land, which is the future of cleaning supplies. Now, let me explain. Once I discovered Blue Land, I realized how many single plastic bottles I was using when it came to cleaning my house from mirrors, bathroom, washing your hands. Now, we go through a lot of bottles which retail six to eight dollars and of course, once you finish it, you throw it and then buy yourself another six to eight dollar bottle. Now, with Blue Land, you ain't gotta do all that. So, unlike your traditional cleaning product, which are sold in single-use plastics with Blue Land. All you need is a nickel-sized tablet to keep your house or hands clean. It's super simple. They send you your forever bottle. This one right here is multi-surface. You fill it up with warm water up to the line and you simply just drop in the tablet, give it a couple of minutes, let it dissolve, and you are ready for cleaning. Literally that simple, efficient, and affordable. So stop paying for wasteful plastic bottles, which normally retail five to six dollars. With Blue Land, you get the tablets for only two dollars, and even as low as one fifty-five when you buy them in bulk. Talk about saving money. Bottle by bottle adds up, and I mean we're gonna have to clean for the rest of our lives. I got the Clean Essential Hand Soap Duo, which I highly recommend. It comes with a foaming hand soap, a glass and mirror cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and also multi-surface cleaner. So that means once I run out of my glass and mirror cleaner, all I simply have to do is fill it up with water, add a tablet, and I am refilled. No need to go to the store and spend another five to six dollars for a plastic bottle, and it's also great for the earth. They are also made with clean ingredients and made without ammonia, VOC, soy nut, chlorine, bleach, or parabens. Blue Land is also EPA certified. Instead of buying your cleaning products individually, if you get a kit, you get it for 20% off. And on top of that, also get it 20% off with my discount. All you have to do is click the link down in the description to get 20% off your first kit. You don't want to miss out. Again, the link is down in my description. Thank you so much, Blue Land, for keeping our house clean, saving us some money, helping out the earth, and for sponsoring this portion of the video. Back to regular programming. 
Okay, so for these next ones, these are three that I have been literally looking at and wanting to use and have in my kitchen since I bought them, but again, I was waiting for this video. So first off is this right here. It is an avocado hugger. So it is meant to keep your avocado fresh and nice. You know how they go bad pretty quick from the top once you slice it open. It comes with two pieces, different sizes. And I just love when packaging comes looking like what it's meant to be, if that makes sense. Like this literally looks like a cute little avocado. And it comes with this one and this one. Okay, I feel like this one's really big. I personally have never bought an avocado this big. Uh, but this one right here, I have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one open, which is actually not ready, but for the sake of the video. I thought this was super woke because a lot of the times I cut an avocado and I just use half, maybe not even half, and then the other half, I save it. But within 30 minutes, it already, ah, it already goes bad. So, oh my god, this... It's really, really not ready. It's like hella hard. Oh my god, and I literally bought this like days ago. Popped it open. Um, so let's say I use this half, and then this one, you wrap it up. Um, and this is one of those things that you kind of have to wait to see if it works, but this looks really cute. Honestly, this um, piece is a little too big, so I wish it came with this size and then a smaller size rather than a big size because i mean realistically do you guys buy avocados this big <laughs> i just personally never do um i love the idea i just feel like again the sizing is kind of off and it does come with a little bar right here so if i want to store the one with the seed oh this one fits better actually oh oh this is actually pretty nice and tight as far as it working i have to give it some time to see if it actually keeps it fresh but i actually really like this even just to store it it looks nice on your fridge it doesn't look messy and stuff so Considering it does work, I'll rate it a 9 out of 10. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram stories and let you guys know how this worked. Okay, this next one I'm extra excited because I love kiwis. So it is a kiwi cutter. It's supposed to bring out the whole kiwi in one. When I saw this, I was like, girl, I need this because I love kiwis. It looks like this. Oh, it has a little knife in the middle. How cute. This little knife actually pops out and this is actually meant to cut your kiwi in half. Okay, you have to be careful so the skin does not rip. So you just put this through here. And then once you feel it reach the edge, you just twist it slowly. Uh, hello? Okay. Uh -huh. The skin ripped. Okay, I thought, okay, I'm so dumb. I thought I was gonna take it out in like one whole piece, but obviously not because you're already cutting it in four pieces. But that's actually not bad. I don't hate it. Let me try it with this half. So you just take it in here and then you just twirl it slowly so it does not rip the skin. Okay, I don't think that's bad. I just feel like a spoon does the exact same job. No. Nope. Normally I use a spoon and just scoop it out, but Chris is telling me that she actually peels a kiwi. I've never heard of people actually <laughs> taking the time to peel it. So if you peel it, then yes, this is really woke for you. I don't feel like it's a gadget that you like need in your kitchen. For the sake of the video, this is how I normally do it. I just grab a spoon. And okay, <laughs> this is how I do it, but it gets really messy. Wait, never mind. Maybe, maybe this is actually woke. Well, this kiwi was also way uh, more tender, like harder, so it was kind of hard to take it out. I'm gonna rate this a hmm, five out of ten. I love the idea. I just feel like this should have like some kind of sharp edges to like really take the kiwi out. Because if it's a little not ready, it's not gonna work. So. Don't hate it though. Okay, moving on to some peelers. So I'm excited for this one. It is a vegetable peeler, but just to show you guys, this is like my regular one. We've all seen this one. You kind of just peel, but look at this one. I had never seen something like this. It actually goes in your finger and then just to peel my cucumber. Ooh, I love this, honestly. Like you just have such a good grip of it opposed to like this one. This is really, really cool. Rated 10 out of 10. And then it also comes with a little lid for you to cover it up, obviously, after you wash it. Um, that way, nobody gets cut. Okay, moving on from this one to this one right here. It is also the same thing, same concept, but it actually comes with two fingers. Okay, so now to test this one out, again, with the two fingers. Ooh. Oh, I really like this one too, actually. But for some reason, um, I love this one more. I just feel like... I don't know, just the quality feels way better on this one. But these are both 
Uh, ones that I will definitely be keeping. Okay, before moving on, I'm telling Crystal how much I love it and she needs it. And we're wondering if it works the same for a potato because obviously a cucumber is way softer. <gasps> so I want to try a potato. Oh, this is really good. I really like this. I was going to say the skin gets a little stuck, but I mean, that's with any peeler, obviously, because the skin goes through it. This is a little moist chop. Okay, moving on to the laces. Just kidding. But this under here is a self-stirring mug, which... I mean, I don't know who would want a self-stirring mug. I bought it for the purpose of the video, but now that I have it, I'm like, wait. I think they might have done something here. So it literally stirs by itself. So it's a battery-operated gadget, and it literally says self-stirring mug. Um, maybe they shouldn't have put this, like, <laughs> so big in the front in case, you know, people are like, really? <laughs> it's like a self-stirring mug. But I'm going to make my coffee in here, so it comes with a little lid. So the bottom just has, it's almost like a little fan at the very bottom. I'm gonna throw my coffee in here and then a little bit of my creamer and then close it up and it comes with a little button right here that says stir so you're just supposed to press it can you guys hear that <laughs> it's literally stirring by itself oh Oh, period. Okay, this actually works really, really good. Like it actually stirs it by itself. Um, the only reason why I would actually really like this is because you don't have to like dirty a spoon to mix it and stuff. And then you know how normally after you're done mixing with the spoon, you put the spoon on the table or like you need to get a nap. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, this is really a lazy gadget. Like who cares, right? Just wash the spoon, but that's pretty cool. You throw all your coffee ingredients in here and just mix it up. Or if you do some kind of like pre-workout, your greens, and you just need a quick little mix. I don't hate it. I don't hate this at all. And also it is a thermal mug, so it's going to keep your coffee really cold or really hot. Um, overall, a pretty 10 out of 10. It did its job, so yeah, why not have it? I will definitely keep this, and if I'm feeling lazy, I will be using a self-stirring mug. Okay, we now have here an orange peeler, which on part one, I also uh, used an orange peeler, but it was like a smaller version. So I'm excited for this one. If you guys remember, that one was not all that great. And I'm really excited for this one because I just hate peeling oranges. I mean, don't we all, especially with nails? Ooh, okay, so you just carve it through the orange. And then this little tool, you stab it out. By the way, prior to me doing this video, I had no idea there was any such thing as an orange peeler. So when I found these, I'm like, this is actually kind of cool. Okay, a little fast forward that actually didn't take too long and so far I really like this. I mean, an orange is gonna take you a little bit of time to peel regardless, but you don't have to use your nails and it's just a little bit time taking. Okay, I like it. Again, it's just going to take a little bit of time, but if you're like me that I hate peeling oranges with my nails, I'd rather just cut the orange, um, then this tool is pretty cool to have. I will definitely be keeping this one in my drawer for whenever I want to peel some oranges. And let me just say this is low-key a little stress reliever. I like it. I rate it a four star. I feel like there has to be another tool out there that's even better than this one. I just don't know what upgrades it needs. Okay, now on to some baking gadgets. My favorite, and if you're into baking, listen up for these. So first I have this one. It is a whisk lineup, basically. So um, when you finish mixing your buttercream or your cake mix, the whisk comes out extra clean. Okay, there we go. Just lay it flat on the on a surface and then just light it up and it goes right in oh my god i feel like this is gonna be really woke actually and then the moment of truth i'm very excited for this one and then just pop it up Ooh. wait but then your hands get kind of dirty wait Okay, I don't hate it. I just thought it was going to like literally like squeeze it out completely like leave it completely clean According to their picture. Um, it did the job. I just feel like it took too long for what it did I could have just like shaken it like that um, I do recommend it if you're doing more like of a really thick buttercream that it takes a while to get You know to fall from the whisk but for cake batter, I feel like it was not really worth it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and bake this cake. I don't wanna eat cake, but y'all made me. Okay, so another baking gadget, now that I have my batter here ready, I have these little cupcake molds right here. Uh, I'm gonna use this right here. So it's actually a cupcake scoop. Okay, so it's this little spoon right here, and then it's gonna help you um, throw out the batter with this little 
leveler. So I'm gonna grab some batter. Oh. Yeah, I figured it would do this. It's supposed to be completely mess-free baking, but even just looking at it, I was like, it's gonna do this, <laughs> this that it's doing. So ugh, I already don't love it. Like this, the space of it is too little. It's not scooping enough, but. Ugh. And then it scoops it out. Um, okay. Let's see. You grab it, you scoop it out, and then you put it back. I mean, I feel like it's better than just using a regular spoon or, you know, trying to do like the really old school and doing this. So I rate this one a five out of 10. Okay, while my cupcakes bake, I will come back to this other baking little frosting gadget. But for now, I wanted to use these right here. So this one is actually for garlic. Okay, so I normally mince my garlic by using this right here. Like I'll grab my garlic and mince it, which obviously like it gets my fingers all stinky. So, I'm excited for this one. It's a little garlic mincer squeezer thingy. Okay, so I have my garlic right here. I'm just gonna cut off the little tail. And then, instead of me having to do this right here, um, you just pop it in here and then you squeeze it out. That's actually super cool. And now your garlic is all nice and minced. I'm so done now. <laughs> Sold and I also like how the little palitos that it comes with actually go all the way through the holes Because you know how some stop at the holes and then like the holes still have garlic. Does that make sense? This one doesn't like it pushed it. Oh, this is stinky <laughs> It pushed it completely out and it minced it super super nice without me having to get messy oh, I knew this one was going to meet my expectations, which is why I was looking forward to it so much um, I don't think this one's like a out of this world gadget. I had seen it before 10 out of 10 if you don't have this you need it in your kitchen. Here we have a jalapeno inside scooper, which normally, I don't know about you guys, but when I do this, I cut my pepper and then I cut it again and then take out the seeds. So this one, you just come to the, hold up, it comes with a little, I'm like, why is it blue? But it, it's actually like a little sealing tape. Okay, I'm back. But um, you just put this inside your pepper and then you twist it as you go down. Ooh, la la. And then it's just going to scrape out everything inside. It literally took out every... Oh my god, this is super cool. It's literally completely clean inside. This actually just reminded me, you know that little... It was like trending. I actually never tried it. I really want to try it now. Where you put like the cream cheese and the takis inside. That This is perfect for that. This is super cool. The only thing is, um, it's just for jalapenos, like serranos. I think they're a little too skinny. And then the peppers might be a little too wide. Highly recommend this, especially if you're somebody like me that eats a lot of chile. And this is definitely also a must have. Five star, moving on. Okay, I brought you guys over to my stove because for these, um, I need to show you guys like, wait, I guess I could have shown you guys this. Anyways, we so it's this little pot clipper and you just clip it on your pot like this. And it's meant for it to hold the spoon, whatever spoon you're using to mix your soup or whatever. It holds the spoon just like that. Oh, I actually... <laughs> I like that. I made it 8 out of 10. Okay, this right here is a clip-on adjustable strainer um, to strain your pasta, vegetables, whatever it is that you're making. Looks like this right here. And what I love is that it clips to any size pot as long as it's not wider than this, which that's pretty big. So for this one, you just adjust it to how uh, wide your pot is. You go ahead and clip it and then it's already ready for you to strain out your pasta. Rate this 10 out of 10, something I would definitely keep, uh, definitely use because it just fits all your pots. Okay, moving on to my sink. This one looked super cool. I'm like trying to figure out how to make it work because I got this. I don't even know what website. It came with like no kind of packaging, no kind of instructions, literally nothing. But um, it's this right here. It came with a double-sided little like gummy tape. So I added the little double-sided tape and then you put this in your sink. So it's supposed to be like a little uh, trash can inside your sink. So when you're getting like rid of, rid of the food inside your pans, your sartenes and stuff like that. So that's that. Honestly, this is secured really, really good. And then it came with these little bags. It actually came with a lot of them. I already opened up one of these. It's like a like a mesh little trash can. 
Oh, that's actually really cool. So as far as my sink, one of one of the sides of my sink is like a how do you call it? Like a trash disposal? Garbage. A garbage disposal. <laughs> like you can actually throw food in there. Um, and then with a the little button, like you know, it takes it away. But sometimes food does get on this side. So so yeah, I actually really like this, and it's pretty deep. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so I threw a little bit of food trash in there and then once you're done cleaning your sink or whatever You just remove the little baggie throw this away and then you get another one I like it. I feel like I wouldn't really use it as much, but it just depends on your everyday today. I rated 9 out of 10 just because I probably wouldn't use it as much, but overall the concept is there and I really like it Okay, back to the other side of the kitchen. Okay, and on to the last ones. This one is a really quick one um, I saw it and I'm like, oh my god I need this because it takes up literally no space and if you're somebody who does like pre-workout or like I said protein shakes or Really just anything where you have to put a powder into like a water bottle or into like a small hole This one pops open this big into a little um, funnel also to keep like in your little gym bag or it just depends what you want it for and my favorite part Was that it folds down. So again, it takes up literally no space I will also keep this in my kitchen drawer because you never know when you need like a little funnel okay, Lastly here. I have my little hard cupcakes. I already ate this <laughs> right here besides the point Anyways, I wanted to show you guys this that I saw which caught my attention. It's an icing pan and it says right here now decorating cakes and cookies is as easy as writing it with a pen So it's supposed to turn the frosting into a pen just the way it holds and everything um, So I already went ahead basically you just add frosting the tip and then it's supposed to like give you a nice grip as if it was a pen I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like all of the little gadgets that are meant to be like making decorating easy sometimes make it harder um that's just me though let me know if you guys agree ah i'm not loving this honestly i just feel like it has a weird grip okay i'm trying to do like a little border on it and even then i'm like no me agarro con este because again i'm not used to it so personally i rated a three out of ten this is going to have to be a flop for me so that was it for this video. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. I miss doing a little stand-up video and I'm glad I finally was able to do part two of all the kitchen gadgets that I've had. Guys, I've had this box full, which is everything that you guys just saw, literally in my makeup room for so, so long. If you guys end up buying or ordering any of the stuff that I just showed you guys to make your life easier, let me know, comment down below. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.